Hi, it's Michelle from Tech Family UK. This is a follow-up video to the previous video I did on the cylinder lock. Enjoy. Welcome back. I'm going to quickly walk through how to change a cylinder lock. All you need is a Phillips screwdriver. Let's get started. I have sped this up a little bit because otherwise you will probably be falling asleep right now. But as you can see, I am removing the locking screw and setting it aside to be used again later on. To remove the old cylinder, you will need to insert a key at either end of the lock. You'll have to turn the key partially to dislodge the cylinder, like so. <laughs> the girls really wanted to be in the video. This is them flossing. I haven't yet mastered it, but I'm still practicing. I'll get there eventually. As you can see, both my old and new cylinders are the same size. This is very important. The replacement cylinder must be a like for like. So now you can see me inserting the new cylinder barrel. Like the removal, you will need to turn the key to assist you. Then, after all that, you insert the locking screw back in place. From the demonstration, with both keys fully engaged, the keys turn, meaning no more lockouts. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.